If you clicked on this video, you're probably thinking of getting your first tattoo or a tattoo in general. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys some tips to prepare physically and mentally for your tattoo session, so make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here. So here are my tips to prepare for your first tattoo. First of all, it's very important to get a good night's sleep. You really want to be rested before having a tattoo session because getting a tattoo is very draining. It's, it's a very exhausting experience. So you want to make sure to have a good baseline, a good amount of energy when you go in there. This actually leads me to my next tip, which is to be sober. Do not be under the influence of alcohol or drugs. This is because alcohol and drugs can thin your blood, which can cause bleeding during the tattoo session. And this is really bad for you, but also for the tattoo artist because as it's bleeding, the tattoo artist will have to wipe all that blood and it becomes kind of a mess. Responsible artists won't let you get tattooed if you're drunk or under the, any kind of influence. If they do, then you shouldn't get tattooed at their place. One drug that is actually accepted by some artists is Tylenol. I've read that it can be taken like an hour before your appointment, but just make sure you ask anything beforehand. Other drugs such as Advil and ibuprofen are not recommended because they are blood thinners and so they can cause bleeding as I mentioned before. Also, no weed! <laughs> Cannabis can make you paranoid sometimes so you might feel more anxious when getting tattooed especially because getting tattooed is a pretty stressful experience and so cannabis just heightens the mood that you're in it can actually increase pain sensitivity in the end it can also cause you to feel more pain than necessary for numbing cream uh, i know that some people take numbing creams make sure to always ask your artist if if that's okay but in general numbing creams um, are not recommended because so first of all you apply it on your skin and that leaves a layer of cream which can actually cause swelling and so it can distort the area that's going to be tattooed and so it could just fuck up your tattoo especially if it's very detailed very very precise any imperfection will be very visible and also when the tattoo artist is gonna clean the area it might remove the cream and when the cream is removed you can start feeling pain again but overall my my tip is just to embrace the pain. That sounds terrible, but <laughs> if I could change anything about tattoos, I wouldn't change the pain. It's part of it. Next up, hygiene. It's just very important to be clean when you go get tattooed, so take a shower beforehand. You can shave the area that's gonna be tattooed, so if you wanna tattoo this area, just shave it, because otherwise the artist is gonna shave it for you. I mean, that's a preference. I would rather shave it myself than have someone else shave me. If you're into that, and also do not apply moisturizer, <laughs> moisturizer, moisturizer, yes, yes. It's just better not to have anything on your skin so that it's as clean as possible, even though the artist is gonna clean the area for you. It's always better just to not have anything. Next tip is to change your bed sheets, your towels and your pajamas, if you wear one. A tattoo is basically a big wound. Everything that touches your tattoo, you want it to be clean, as clean as possible. So your bed sheets, like when you sleep, especially if it's a big tattoo, like on your back, on your leg, or just anywhere on your body, it's gonna rub on the sheets and that might leave some bacteria on your tattoo and makes it prone to infection. Same for towels and your, your pajamas or any clothes that you're gonna wear. The first few days, you just really want anything that touches your tattoo to be clean, basically. But after a few days, uh, when the tattoo starts to scab, you don't need to be as meticulous with your hygiene. I mean, of, of course, it's very important to wash the tattoo with antiseptic soap every day. But the clothes that you wear and your bed sheets, like, they don't have to be 100% clean, fresh out of the dryer. When it scabs, you can like relax a bit more about how clean your environment is. Next up, do not be hungry. Uh, it's very important to have, to have a good meal before you go to your session. You want your stomach to be full, but not too full because digestion takes a lot of blood. And because getting a tattoo is some kind of trauma that your body experiences, when your body experiences trauma, it needs blood. And so if you're, if you're di digesting, it's gonna use a lot of blood. So yeah, just um, yeah, have a good meal, but not, not too heavy. You might also feel dizzy when you get tattooed. So my next tip is to bring snacks or juice, like something sweet to give you a little sugar boost. Don't bring anything that's messy like chips. Bring something that's easy to eat when you get tattooed or like in between break, break. I heard that gum is really useful, like it's a nice distraction for your like 
free. You can move like as you're chewing, but you don't move your body. So I've heard that it's quite nice. Also, like there is a bit of sugar that goes into your body, so that's nice. I heard a lot about how bananas are really good um, when you get tattooed because of the potassium. But also, I've heard that eating too much fruit before a tattoo can thin your blood and create bleeding. Next step, avoid coffee and energy drinks because they can make you anxious and just increase stress and you don't want to be stressed when you get a tattoo but it's very important to hydrate so drink before, during and after also like it can give you like a like if you need to pee, it can, and it's like a really, really big session. You can get some breaks in between. Next tip is to dress comfortably. That's very, very important. I always plan out my outfit depending on the area that I want to get tattooed. For example, if I get my, my legs tattooed, my thighs, I like to wear a skirt or shorts. If I get my arm, just wear short sleeves. If you get your foot, don't wear shoes that are too tight. In general, just baggy clothes, like nothing. Don't wear anything that's too tight. Like don't wear leggings if you're gonna get a thigh tattoo, you know? Also, sometimes I bring a change of clothes. Let's say it's winter outside and you're getting a thigh tattoo. So I just go with my normal pants. And when I get tattooed, I just change. I put some shorts on. This way my underwear is not showing and the artist can tattoo the area. Also, getting a tattoo is a bit messy. So you might have some ink on your clothes. Make sure to not wear any valuable clothing. It can be washed, but just uh, I don't recommend wearing anything that, that is precious to you. really like to have my afternoon or my day completely free. Sometimes a tattoo session can last longer than initially planned. It can also be shorter but just to make sure I like to have no plans right after and also like after a tattoo I feel super drained and tired and I just want to I just want to go home and chill and if you have plans at night for, for example don't drink alcohol because that will slow down the healing and it can also cause bleeding. Um, what else? Bring distraction so you can bring like your phone, your iPad or whatever like a book I mean I've tried bringing books I can never read them like I've <laughs> I've tried so many times to study while getting a tattoo because I don't know why but I, I would always have my tattoo appointments right before finals or before midterms so I would always be studying no success at all it's impossible to study when getting tattooed if you have please let me know and let me know how you do it because damn respect respect i usually like to watch uh, something on my phone listen to music so bring your headphones bring your charger if you need to or i usually have a friend but always make sure to ask your artist before if you can bring a friend a lot of artists don't really like you to bring a friend because the studio gets really crowded and they can be distracted by the conversation but yeah always ask them beforehand <laughs> Sometimes the tattoo artist is gonna make conversation with you. Like some some artists really like to talk to you and have a great conversation, which like I enjoy. But I always feel bad to talk to the artist because I don't want to distract them because they look so focused. So it really depends on the artist. And lastly, for women, period and hormones involved with your period can increase pain sensitivity. So just keep that in mind. Uh, if you want to book an appointment, it's always better to do it outside of your period which is kind of hard to plan out if you don't know like when your period is going to happen or if the appointment is like five months away. I have an appointment in a month and a half and I'm not, I don't know <laughs> if I'm going to have my period or not, but yeah. So yeah, these are all of my tips. I think I covered most of it. If there's anything that I left out or any question that you still have, please let me know in the comments. Overall, getting a tattoo is physically and mentally draining. It's really important to prepare yourself mentally and physically. Please take this seriously and be careful during the healing. I'm gonna make another video about the healing in the future. If there's any other kind of video that you wanna see, anything you're interested in, whether it's about piercing, tattoos, veganism, please let me know. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Good luck on your future tattoo and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!